In today's video, we're going to talk about giving UVB to albino reptiles. Now, whether you should or shouldn't do it, in my opinion, I believe yes. Just because they're albino or albino and their eyes hurt under really bright lights, their bodies still want the health benefits from UVB. It's like if you're ginger, getting out in the sunshine is going to be massively good for your health, but too much of a good thing can also give you sunburn and you're going to burn a lot if you're ginger. And it's kind of similar for the albino reptile. But then how do we give it to them safely? Because we don't want to hurt their eyes. So there's two things to consider here. One, bright lights are going to hurt their eyes if they're too bright. And two, they have less protection against harsh UVB. So they kind of need it to be a lot weaker. So my advice is you're going to have to give them weaker UVB. So for snakes and skinks and things like that that will survive without UVB, all you need to do is give them a really weak UVB because they can survive without it. So any smidge of UVB is better than not, right? So you can make it as weak as possible. The other thing you want to do is make sure they have plenty of opportunity to get out of that light if they want to. So I want you to imagine your enclosure in two parts, the sunshine patch and the shade patch. You want to get a small UVB that's weak and place it on one end of the enclosure. Typically you put that on the end where it's warmest because it's like the sunshine and it can go sit in the shade away from that area. So with normal reptiles that aren't albino, a lot of people like to have big long tubes to light up their enclosure and make it really impressive. For your albino, you want to get the smallest UVB you can buy. If that's the tube and the smallest they do is like a 12 inch, you want to get the 12 inch one and plonk that somewhere in one corner. Then what you want to do is place that over somewhere with a hide like this, your typical normal reptile hide. What's going to happen is your snake or reptile can sit in this hide and then stick a leg out or a snake can have a coil come out like this and back in but then keep their head inside the hide out of the lights. So their body can still use that weak amount of UVB and they can get the healthy stuff from it. But they are shielding their eyes from the harsh lights and then they can get the best of both worlds. A dedicated hide is a really smart idea but then you can also do it with more decor and leaves and logs and leaf litter. Lots of leaves in there will create a little layer on top of the substrate so your snake or reptile can get in amongst the leaves and have little amounts of UVB hit them half hidden under the leaves. So there's plenty of areas for them to hide their eyes whilst even under the UVB and then the whole other half of their enclosure or tank they can get out of light completely. Now there are types of UVB lamps where you can actually turn the lamp up and down and make them really bright or dim them right down to barely even on. Some lamps like the Illuminized lamps or the new Exoterra lamps any sort of UVB lamp that can turn it up and down. If it's something that can survive completely without UVB and it doesn't even need to have it on, you can turn that lamp right down and have it really dim in the enclosure. Another thing you can do in this instance, if it's like a snake or a skink that will survive without it, is actually use one of the small compact coil UVBs. Typically we don't say to use that because of how weak they are and how small their range is. But in this instance, how weak they are and how low the UVB is and how narrow they are can actually be a benefit in this circumstance for creating a small area where the UVB hits that's weak and narrow and shade everywhere else. So in that circumstance, the coil can be a good thing to use. What I'm going to do is I'm going to link some really weak UVBs down below. And if you're someone that just wants to be told, I'll oh, buy that one, I'll link them down below. Take a look, we'll sort you out. If you found this video helpful and you like these types of informative videos, subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.